Six foot. Six foot. That's about right, isn't it? Six foot. I'm not sure what's going on here, but it all seems to be going to plan. Shower frame is starting to take shape. 6.35 and we're on our way out to the Isle of Wight. I can't even like do my thing up anymore. We couldn't find the needles for a while there and Andy's not impressed. Swivel seats. Woo! Oh boy. It's really tipping it now. What's that coming through there? So the seats are complete. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. To those of you new here, we're Andy and Sophie and we started this channel to document our journey to changing our lives for the better. Our first stop is converting our Mercedes Sprinter Ray into a camper van. Join us each week where we share our conversion successes and failures, but also give you a little lens into our lives. In last week's video, we fitted our storage step amongst other things, so make sure to go and check that video out if you've not seen it yet. And this week we tackle framing the shower. So let's get to it. Good morning everyone. So it's another weekend, uh, Saturday in fact. Although we are Sophie Light for the weekend. She is gone home. It's gonna be Mother's Day this weekend. And I'm gonna try and now get the framing in for the shower. It is drizzling like hell outside. Horrible weather. In fact, it's not even drizzling. It's pouring down outside. In fact, it's so drizzly. Look at it. So dark. Right, I've had a busy week at work and I'm actually quite looking forward to zoning out for a little bit and just focusing on how I'm going to get the shower frame working. Let's get to it. Many unbearable hours later. So the whole day is nearly gone. I still don't think I've done anything. But what I have done is I have pretty much worked out the frame now. The first frame we did for the shower. So if I show you down here. The first frame we did for the shower. Um, I put a template in here for the surface just so I could make sure I was going around it correctly. And this now actually ensures that I've got the right amount of space, uh, even when I've got plywood coming up on the wall. So that gives me enough space. So I've got enough gap here now to make sure that even when the plywood's up and the walls are up, all will look good. So now I've done that, I'm going to put this frame together and start then working out the big stuff. Don't ask me what the big stuff is. I'm literally just winging this as I go along. What I've been doing there is putting the tracing paper down to work out where the battens are so that I've got something to screw that base into so I know where a batten comes across. It's a bit tricky this though. There's not really much of much to screw into. We shall prevail. Okay, so base screwed into the floor. You can see all screwed in. Pretty solid, to be honest. But when I move it, the whole van moves. The only thing I'm not sure of whether I've got it straight. Why well, is hard to read this stuff? I think what I'm going to do though is take out the vinyl because I don't really think we need that. Well, we're not going to need that, are we? It's just extra weight we don't need. Now for the big stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, just work it out. One million, zillion, jillion, dillion, cotillion times later. 71 and a half inches tall. Can't be right. Six foot. Six foot. That's about right, isn't it? Six foot. That would make sense. Sticky. Right, here we go. Completely destroyed everything. As you can see, I had to rip out all of that. Just so that I'm going to put batten down here, um, the batten down here, batten down here, just so that obviously when I put the backing plywood, that will hold the back. I kind of knew I was going to have to do this, to be honest. So, right. So I've got pocket holes in 
three of these batten across here, uh, here, here, and here, whatever. <sighs> cows hello <laughs> the time is really getting on here where have we got to so far so I now have the three battens in as you can see these aren't actually stuck or screwed in yet but gives you a bit of an idea on what the frame is going to look like so you start to really see the shower space and then what I'm going to do is do another batten up here another one in the middle another one on the end and I think that should give me some support to screw into to keep this whole thing steady and I'll add more as we go but I think that ain't bad is it right I'm going to call it a night any minute now I'm just going to do three more baton cuts and then I'm going to go in and order a curry and watch a movie see you in the morning good morning everyone Sunday again it's like groundhog day isn't it but now I'm just going to basically put up all the posts and then put some pocket holes in them, screw them in, get everything lined up. So yeah, over to the time lapse. Post number one, done. The tricky part is working out what centre. There's obviously, I don't know, I'm a math, a math magician. what's going on here but it all seems to be going to plan what's all that about I'm not used to this but shower frame is starting to take shape it's all looking not too bad I'm just not convinced yet whether I put it straight I don't know how to how do you measure what straight looks like it's going all right I mean the uh, the pocket screw things really really helping doing it in such a small space and having just watched lots of YouTube videos Kind of helped. But yeah, not too bad. That's all right, isn't it? That ain't that bad. Okay, so it's about half past three on Sunday and it's gone really, really well. I really don't know why it's taken all weekend to basically just cut some wood and stick it in a van, but it does. And I'm still not finished by a long shot, but I can't be bothered anymore. I'm kind of done for the day. So, what have I done though? It's been really productive. I managed to get this weekend this whole framing, as you can see, and it looks, let me just turn the camera around so you can really get the feel for it. But it all joined quite nicely. Um, very sturdy, you can pretty much shake the van with it. At the top here, I've got some battens that I could stick to. So I could put a little bit of wood across here um, and then use that as a sticking point as well so that this is completely, like, won't be able to move. I'd love your thoughts on what I should do with the ceiling. Should I leave it like that? Uh, the light's waterproof, that would be okay. But should I line it with something else so that it's all... I don't know. I think I will, because that would be dumb just to leave it with the cladding. Um, but yeah, you can see here, pretty much got a door in down here. Um, I've left a bit of a gap, so I'm going to put another pillar in here. And then the door is going to be from here to, to there. And the plan is to get one of these... Uh, Sliding type doors, neutral, well, I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, nice and sturdy. I, you know, I actually, I am, you know, despite my moaning, quite happy with it. Uh, it all measures quite nicely. Over here, uh, this is going to be where the step is. So this is going to be a step, that's the size of the step. And then that's when you step up to go up onto your bed. Um, but also it'll act as a laundry chute. 
into the garage to put things like um, dirty laundry. And then over here, obviously, the kitchen unit comes up, and then that comes across all around to the back here. Hard to visualise a little bit, but yeah, it is coming together quite nicely. It's very early. It's actually 6.35 and we're on our way out. Uh. <laughs> to the Isle of Wight. for the ferry hmm. so we're using this app is it an app or a website called roamaround.io and it basically is AI and it you put in two destinations or a destination Andy's the one that did this <laughs> and then um, it plans your day for you so the first thing we're doing is visiting the iconic Needles, located on the western tip of the island. our passport which I thought we were going to need. Yeah why is the, I don't understand Where's that. the customs? Why is all the um, signs in English? <laughs> I thought this went to the Isle of Wight. <laughs> oh camper vans is free all day parking. Oh yeah. Not that we're in the camper van but if we were. That's interesting so camp, we can camp here for free? Well no it probably just means to see not to stay over. Sorry? Not, not to stay overnight. Oh. I wouldn't have thought. Here we go. Needles. It's really busy. Rammed, isn't it? I can't even like do my thing up anymore. <laughs> Welcome to the Isle of Wight. We couldn't find the needles for a while there, and Andy's not impressed. At them, let me turn you around. There they are. I think there may be some bigger ones on the other side, so we need to walk around. But he's uh, he's not happy. <laughs> you might not have heard that. He just said, I just think they're a bit shit. So we got to the needles, and uh, it's closed. Well, it doesn't open till 10 30, and it's 10 to 10. And it, to be honest, with you, it's just a bit of chalk sticking out of the sea. So. I'm really not that bothered. Soph is though. I've been before anyway. But yeah, we have viewed them from the viewpoint, haven't we? Look, that is actually the specific viewpoint. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, seen it. So the next thing anyway is to go on the chairlift where I guess we'll see them again. Right, it's not going so well at the moment. You see a big red sign that says path closed. And oh, no. chairlift's not working. Everything's closed, basically. And he's going over anyway, breaking the rules. And he's rebelling, rebelling today. I'm not sure what the problem is. We think it might just be closed for winter, don't we? Maybe. Either yeah, that. Well, it's quite or... a permanent structure. I mean, it's, I say permanent, just on screw. Well, yeah, things, it's but... not that hard, but yeah. Should I come with you? Yeah. Do you want to take the camera? Yeah, been a little bit rebellious, gone over the line, but to be honest with you, I think it's just because it's really slippery surfaces, which it, it is. So obviously, just got to be careful. Um, I came here as a kid, and this place down here was just full of people sunbathing. I might even have a picture of that, and then um, everything else looks the same. You see all the different colour sands in the in the rock. Very nice. All right, anyway, I think you should probably head back up. I feel like we're breaking the law. Looks like AI has failed us this time because another thing is not open. 
Would you call this a failure of AI technology? It yeah. should know when stuff's open. It should know when stuff's open. Yeah. So. Root planner was rubbish. Yeah. Don't basically don't listen to artificial intelligence. Listen to human intelligence. Yeah. So there you go. Can't go in. Day is ruined. So it was at this point that we realised everything appeared to be closed and to be honest, the content seemed pretty boring. So we'll take you back to the van build. So we have swivel seats, woo, um, and it's got a double swivel seat and a single swivel seat uh, from RJ Solutions, and also a handbrake lowering kit. So annoyingly, we had seats out two weeks ago, and we put them back in because we didn't realise we'd be doing a swivel. Because we don't plan anything. We did well. Didn't realise we're doing the swivel seat part quite so soon. With his Life Adventure Projects hoodie on that you can buy from the link in the description. <laughs> you don't have to buy them though, they're a bit rubbish. Are they? Well, they're alright. Don't say that, they're great. <laughs> you, can, you can buy stickers, mugs, tote bags. So, we've got the plate on. I think we've got it the wrong way around at the moment. Although... Why is it when we have someone start a video, we always say so? I don't know. What is that though? I don't know how to start. Can I do the same thing? Yeah. So, so right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we're literally on a, on a, on a slope with no handbrake on. It's not even, yeah. It's, right right on. it's in gear, it's in gear. It's all good. Yeah, so we're lowering the handbrake with this So I assume that goes in like that, does it? No, that goes in there like that. That's right, yeah. And then I... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Looks about right. <laughs> I was expecting this to be a lot more complicated. Yeah, it sounds like it should be. Oh boy. It's really heavy now. This is when your leaks... Yeah. The leak test. <laughs> What's that coming through there? Oh joking, my... you... Yeah, he's joking. <laughs> Perfection. The problem is, is the plastic backing won't go on here. It's there. Why won't it? Because it? Because it, I, I think I'm going to need to cut it. Uh, yeah. See, because of that, so I'm going to need to cut up here a little bit so that because this this bit here right gets in the way. Uh, so it's a known issue. So I'm just going to have to. Right. Okay. Okay. Okay again. What's all that about? I've managed to get the swivel seat bases in now. So as you can see here, look, these move around nicely. Whoop, whoop. Um, because it's an XDHL van, there's like an electrical cable here, but it doesn't plug into anything. And I guess it would be for the seatbelt alarm. Um, does anyone know what I should do with the electric? But yeah, if anyone knows, Sprinter, double seat. Electricity cable, don't know what to do with it, doesn't connect to anything in the van. As you can see here, also, I've got it locked in now, but also swivels. So now we've got to get the seats on. Exciting. The seat is in, and we've swiveled it around. It works. It's cool, isn't it? So cool. So that's going to be like part of our dining area, basically. Comfy. <laughs> 
Oh. So yeah, the ta that actually that really helps to see the layout because mm. the table will be pretty far over, won't it? Yeah. And then we're gonna have like a bench thing here. Yeah, Loads quite a lot of, space. of room. Yeah. And then once that's swivelled round. And I think we definitely need a step here. Yeah, well, that's what we keep say keep saying, isn't it? That helps to figure out how wide it needs to be as well. Step. That's so cool. <laughs> Seats complete. Woohoo! Yay! So the seats are complete. You can obviously also uh, push this right back. And that makes up the lounge space. Well that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching you wonderful lot. In the next video we'll be focused on lining the shower and hopefully tanking as well so make sure to join us for part two and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!